All right, welcome back to more Zelda Deluxe fourth quest. And we're gonna be tackling uh, eight three in this part. Uh, luckily, shouldn't take me too long to get the item from there. I'll go for a quick recharge first. Again, 8-3 got moved to a different location, because in the third quest it used to be in the lower right corner. So you would have had to use the flute to make a portal appear so that you could get to um, uh, eight, uh, level 8. Uh, but here, do, you know, level X takes that place, so you notice this kind of different looking screen. It looks a little different than the original. Usually you come in from this way, you can go right, but this time you have to go left uh, using the hook shot. And here's where you find 8-3. Uh, for the most part, unchanged. I think the, the basic design is the same. Yeah, this one changed quite a bit because I don't think there were two Patras in this in this room before. I think it was just a bunch of bats. So yeah, this level is going to kick it up a couple notches, especially at the end. Same room, at least. At least they didn't put purple dark nuts in here. It's kind of uh, difficult to approach it with the traps in there. You know, break as many shields as I can. Makes my life easier for later on. I think I got like half of them out. Kind of hard to tell because you only you can really only see the shield when they're pointing down. Kind of a moot point because of the clock. This is pretty much the same design as before, so no tricks here. Kind of go through the same walk through walls, bomb over walls, etc. And you notice this room changed a little bit. 
I think in the third quest there, was, there were two Patras in this room. And there's a reason for this, uh, the way this room is made. So if you look at this, it's very f similar to like, uh, what was it, way back in 2-3 or something. And you saw this type of design. Uh, but this one, you need the fire boomerang. And mirror shield's still in the same spot. But yeah, you need the fire boomerang to trigger that switch. Um, I actually tried it before with only a magic boomerang and it doesn't do anything. So an interesting way to uh, require the fire boomerang there. Nothing else to do in this level. I'm just gonna take that mirror shield and just make a, a quick exit. And we we can actually put this mirror shield to some use right now, actually. Just gonna hop by the bonus level. Now you want you want to take a look at the. There's only a few rooms here. I do only like four rooms. Uh, this one has a Goma three, and I can't do anything about that. This one has, <laughs> yeah, invisible Goma, and I, I think it's a Goma four. <laughs> no, it's a purple one. Yeah, so have fun if you're trying to battle that thing. You gotta need the cross to see that. No, but we can go this way. Yeah, this is why I need the... Gotta bring up the mirror shield. I can let the mirror robe help me if it wants to whack some of the other wiz robes for me. Luckily they don't take as many hits to go down. Yeah, uh, this is why I had to get the mirror shield. Uh, pick up the magic key, uh, which I'm gonna need that for the next step in my uh, little way out of sequence um, kind of level maneuvering. And since your fire brewing doesn't reflect projectiles, and there are a lot of locks in the level I'm gonna go to next, so uh, right now I would not have had enough keys. Cause I know I would have needed at least double digit keys. If not, you know, 10, 15 keys maybe, maybe more. Okay. This part's probably gonna be a little bit short actually. I 
because I'm not gonna be able to go through the the next level get the next item in the next in, in this part because it's gonna be a very long journey. So we made pretty good progress uh, in this part, even though it's a little bit shorter, but still got some good stuff done. Okay, next part, we'll go into the next uh, level of interest and get another item from there. Alright, see you guys later.